Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no, 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 not with this character. Oh shit! Oh shit! God, I just got attacked by a bunch of dudes, bro. And I have like the weakest character right now. Did you get it? Yeah, I have my weakest character. Not the one I have. Yeah, I just put something in the shrine. not right. Get out now. We don't know what we're dealing with anymore. This could be some sort of Orokin sentry. Who is this creature we've woken? The Silver Grove is timeless. His voice seems human. This new codex message, this changes everything. Ballas is beyond pleased. But when I look at what I've built, that Titania, I feel sick creep up my throat. I hate her. A killer made by a healer. No more. I'm going back to where I belong, no matter the cost. I'm going back to the trees to find myself again. These past weeks, I've been secretly testing transference on myself. I can only survive short bursts, 
linking to Titania the way only Tenno can stand. I've never felt anything like it. A tortured presence. Like an evil ink staining my mind. But it worked. I'm going to use this wrong to make right. I'll stow away with earthbound cargo. Just my apothics and these slapdash somatics I've stolen. By nightfall, I'll be home again in my tent under those bitter acid skies. This time, I'm going to fix it. I will seed a mighty forest, stronger than history, and by my will, use it to bring life. I can't believe this. The Silver Grove isn't natural at all. It's just another abomination made by some delusional Archimedean. It was lies. I'm ashamed our ancestors worshipped such impurity. This can never get out. I'm done here. If the Grenier want to destroy the Silver Grove, let them. What a dogmatic idiot perspective. Operator, you are a product of similar meddling, and yet you are good. Your actions have meant more than your origins. Ordis believes we must complete our mission. Frostleaf. A delightful herb with many healing properties. Too bad it only grows on the iciest of planets. You're likely to catch pneumonia trying to forage it. The grove, it speaks. My heart, wait. A new apothic. We will learn its recipe, forage its ingredients. The grove needs this. New Loka needs this. It's time to wait. Androder! You should not be here! We are pure and true. Forgive our intrusion. Will you accept our protection? Silvergrove must be confused about our pure and holy intentions. 
This new object may hold the key to making it understand. How is it that a spectre came to be in this most sacred shrine? Could this be a vestige of some earlier Orokin incursion? Operator, the codex system just pulled another voice entry from that apothic. Allow Odis to display it for you. My childhood dream has become a nightmare. I don't blame Margulis. She's as much a victim as the children we're working with. At first, the project seemed therapeutic and nurturing. I was myself. But now, transference therapy is being turned into a weapon. Now I build these vile weapons called warframes, all for one purpose. Death. I've become everything I hate. I long for the discomfort of my damp tent, the sick, aimless trees, the barren soil. I know I left my soul behind back there. Titania is the next Warframe I've been commanded to build, but in secret, I've been siphoning resources from the project. I have an idea, a way back to that wounded land I call home. A way for me to forget this war, and remember what I was. The Silver Grove is a pure and sacred force. Why would it be vandalized with such a message? Earth's oldest forest is populated with the first trees that evolved a resistance to the Orokin bondage. The rest of Earth is polluted with the monstrosities of their genetic tinkering. But these trees are pure. When we finally recede Earth, it will be with these specimens. The Silver Grove. In all the Operator's missions on Earth, Ordis has not scanned an area quite so magical. Unique. Ruck's Claw. We had one of these plants in our greenhouse once, but a new recruit overwatered it. We haven't found any since. Ruck's Claw. We had one of these plants in our greenhouse once, but a new recruit overwatered it. 
We haven't found any since. Give me the final apothic. I need clarity to fight back. There. That's it. The clarity. And now I realize you're not my beloved Titania, but another like her that has come to protect me. Beware. Titania's old guardians will still attack. I have no will over them. are here with their torches and violence i will fight them the best i can you have just a moment to escape no we won't leave you tenno ready yourself i was wrong we can't let this beautiful place burn the same determination she did. Getting control. Hold on. I can help too. That's... that's it. Thank you, whoever you are. I am Silvana. Welcome to my forest. Forgive me, Silvana. I doubted you. I thought you were just another Orokin poison. I once thought the same of Warframes. When the Orokin found out what I had done here, they sent their dax upon the great trees, upon me, as the skies grew hot and my roots split into cinder. I let out a deep earthen scream. I was dying. And then suddenly, I felt a familiar presence. One by one, the mighty ducks began to fall, squatting hopelessly at some unseen menace. Others were snared, drifting upward in a mesmerizing light. And then, all at once, shredded by that unseen force, when the fire subsided, I knew what it was. Titania. 
my shamed creation. I felt her beating wings through my branches. I felt her mortal wounds. Her weeping burns as she fell beneath my canopy. And so it was here, within the grove, that she died to save me. Me. The one who had hated her most. Silvana, by the strength of this Tenno, she will fly again. I swear it. The forest and myself are in debt to both of you. Trapped by transference inside a tree. Hmm. I guess. The Silver Grove was planted with the rotted seeds of the Orokin. Corrupt in the eyes of our doctrine. Our tenets command us to reject it. But how can we? Silvana longed to restore Earth's former glory just as we do. If we are to see Earth restored, Perhaps New Loka itself must change. I will convince them to see Sylvana's creation for the miracle it is. Some will call that heresy, but it is true. And truth is the purest thing we have. 